Today, in this video, I'm going to give you my personal top 10 best foods to build muscle mass. Disney princess, mate. Yeah, I am. What's up, guys? It is Joseph Rakic from josephrakicfitness.com, and today in this video, I'm going to give you my personal top 10 best foods to build muscle mass. Now, I've got some protein foods, some carbohydrates, and also some fats, and I'm going to go over all of these and give you my opinion on why I put them in my top 10 to build muscle. First off, we'll start off on what pretty much everyone knew was going to be in this video, and that is plain chicken. So right here, I have some chicken tenders. This is just what I personally buy from the supermarket. It's quick, easy, and I can add this with some rice. Now, the reason chicken is in my top 10 best foods is because it is a high quality source of protein, which allows us to get three to four grams of leucine per 150 grams of chicken. Now, leucine is a main amino acid, which is important for um, stimulating muscle protein synthesis, and 150 grams of chicken will give us exactly that. All right, so number two on my list is another protein food. It is some steak. Now, I buy my steak pre-cooked, I buy it from a company here in New Zealand called Muscle Chow, just a meal prep company. Basically, all I do is rip this plastic off, chuck it in the microwave for a minute, and there we go, we have some steak cooked up. I add it with some rice or some sweet potato or something like that. Now, the reason steak is in my top 10 best foods for building muscle is because steak is, first off, a great source of high-quality protein, not to mention it's high in iron and high in creatine. Creatine is super important for building muscle, strength, power, endurance, helping with fatigue in the gym, not to mention creatine holds water in the muscle cell, giving you the appearance of muscle fullness, and a well hydrated muscle is a very anabolic muscle. Third food on my list is another protein food, obviously, and that is whey protein. Now the reason, now the reason whey protein is in my top 10 is because convenience. At the end of the day, convenience is the best thing, guys. It is so much easier to get home from the gym, have a protein shake, and maybe some oats with that instead of cook up a steak or cook up some chicken. So convenience, whey protein is number one on the list for that. Whey protein is a super high quality form of protein. It actually has the highest BV, um, which means the most purest form of protein. Now, a basic one scoop of protein will have your five gram of branch chain amino acids. Now, branch chain amino acids are the most important amino acids for building muscle tissue, loosing especially. So, that is on the list. Next on the list is whole eggs. Now, the reason whole eggs are in my top 10, again, another source of protein, high quality source of protein, but the reason these are in here is because um, they have cholesterol, and cholesterol is super important for testosterone production. Testosterone production is super important for building muscle and also losing body fat. Not to mention the yolk in the eggs um, is a great source of fat. And again, fat is super important for hormone regulation, testosterone production. Not to mention, one more thing, um, your vitamins and minerals. Super high qualities super high quality, sorry, of vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin A in the egg yolk. That's why I eat eggs pretty much every single day. All right, so that's the proteins um, done. Those are my top, oh, don't want that one to crack. <laughs> All right, so we are now onto some carbohydrates. Now, on my list of top 10, I have sweet potato or kumra. Here in New Zealand, we call it kumra, but I know in America, you guys call it sweet potato. This is my favorite because it is, first off, a great source of carbohydrate, not to mention it is super high in potassium. Potassium is an important electrolyte needed for muscle contraction. And the harder you train in the gym, the more you sweat, you're losing a lot of those electrolytes, you're losing that potassium. So it's always important to make sure you base your diet around food that is high in potassium uh, because it'll help your performance in the gym. Now, sweet potato or kumra is very high in potassium, so that is why it is on my list. Also a great source of vitamin A. All right, next on my top 10 list is rice. Now, I don't really cook my rice. I basically just buy the pre-packet 
rice, chuck it in the microwave for uh, two minutes, and there we go, add it with some steak, add it with some chicken, and we're good to go. Now, the type of rice that you get doesn't really matter. I use basmati, I use brown rice, um, long grain, and I also get some flavored rice sometimes. So this one is lemon and herbs. Now the reason rice is so important is because rice is a great source of carbohydrates. And when you're bulking, trying to put on muscle, carbohydrates help because they help increase your calorie intake. And being on such a high calorie intake, you're consuming mass amounts of food. Now rice is such an easy food to digest and utilize pretty quickly. However, if you are consuming lots of oats or something like that, you know, you can maybe consume one cup a day, but you can't consume 10 cups of oats per day because you need bloated. Rice, on the other hand, is easily digested and moves through your digestive tract pretty quickly, so you can get away with eating quite a bit of rice without it affecting your digestion too much. That's why this is in my top 10 um, list for building muscle. Next on the list, we have some frozen berries. They don't have to be frozen, it can be just normal berries. Now the reason these run here, First off, um, it's a good source of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and whenever you are, you know, on a bulking diet trying to gain some size, most people just think of protein, carbs, fats, but they don't pay attention to your micronutrients, which are your vitamins and minerals. Little do they know, vitamins and minerals are super important and super crucial for building maximum amounts of muscle because they help with things like muscle protein synthesis, they help with things like energy, they help with things like metabolizing protein, your carbohydrates, and all that stuff. So, mixed berries is on my list of top 10. Next on the list, we're moving into the fats. So, number one for my fats is salmon. Now, you can buy fresh salmon, you can cook it, but myself, personally, I'm all about convenience. I'm so busy with work and training, and my day's pretty hectic, so everything I pretty much eat is about convenience. So I just buy this salmon here, it's in a pack, I just rip it open, and it's ready to eat. I'll add it with some seaweed, um, or maybe some vegetables. Now, the reason salmon is on my top 10 list, obviously, it's a good source of protein, but the best thing about salmon, it is a great source of healthy fats your omega-3 fatty acids, your essential fatty acids. And the reason they're so important is because they are essential to the human body. We can't make it ourselves, so we need to get it through the diet. So that is why salmon is on my top list of top 10. All right, after that, we have avocado. Now, this is a superfood, guys. Great source of um, dietary fat great source of potassium, not to mention great source of vitamins and minerals. But the reason why I have this in my top 10 is because of the fiber content. Fiber is very important, guys. You need to consume fiber on a daily basis. And I pretty much try and have one of these, I would say, at least five times per week. So yeah, that is why the avocado is in my list of top 10. Next, and the final item in my top 10 is nuts. Any nuts are fine, but I personally prefer almonds. Great source of dietary fat. And like I mentioned before, guys, dietary fat is super important for getting maximum gains in your muscle growth. Protein is important for building muscle. Carbs are important for your energy. Fat is important for hormone production. Without enough fat in your diet, you're not going to get adequate amounts of hormone production. Not enough testosterone, which is the key driver for all muscle growth. So make sure you get enough fat in your diet. My recommendations for fat intake is 0.4 grams of fat per pound of your lean body weight as a minimum. So that's my minimal requirements that I prescribe for myself and all my clients. That way, you're going to be sure you're going to get enough fat and you're going to get optimal results in the gym. So there you go guys, that is my top 10 uh, foods for building muscle mass. Obviously not all were protein, um, even though protein is the number one driver for building muscle, the other macronutrients, your carbohydrates and your fats are still very important. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you learned a few things, and make sure you add some of these foods into your diet because they'll help you gain muscle for sure. But if you do need help um, with an actual meal plan, with everything worked out, um, how much to eat, how often to eat, the perfect amount of protein, carbs, fat for you and specific goals. I would love to help you. So if you are interested in working with me, you can click the link in the description box down below. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.